Do you want to know how to journal? Well, there is no real right way to journal, but I've been journaling since middle school, so I can give you a guide on how you can easily start with it. Hello, my name is Sally, and we all know that first of all, you need a notebook and a pen to start with. You can use a spiral or bound notebook, or even a project book to have your journal sectioned out. There are many different options and sizes out there, so make sure to choose something that fits you. I personally prefer a four size journal since I like a lot of space to write on. A5 pages fill up too quickly for me. But for a beginner, an A5 journal might be the thing for you. As for a pen, I use a normal ink pen. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy, just use your favorite pen, but if you want to go for something fancier, you can use a fountain pen or different colored fine liners. So we have our materials, but how do you start your entry? We all know that you begin by writing the date on the top of the page to know exactly when the entry was written. For more context, you can also add the time beside the paragraph you write, especially if you write a few times a day. Do not forget this step because you don't want to look back at an entry and not know when you wrote it. A lot of people get stuck on this one. What do you even write about in your journal? It can be literally anything. I know this sentence doesn't help much, so I'll give you a few ideas. You can begin by writing about yourself, how you look like, your likes and dislikes, about your family and friends and how they're important, your mood, how you feel today and why, events, what you did today and what happened, how did it impact your mood and your life, how you view all of your classmates and teachers or other people, about random thoughts you get and expand on them, your past and memories, your wishes and how you wish your future would be like, how you view the world and certain social topics, your imaginations or daydreams or just dreams you want to log. The list can go on, but if you're still having trouble, you can use prompts. Actually, today I am starting a journaling prompt challenge for the whole month. So if you want to join, join it right now. I have a video and it's also on my shorts and TikTok, so make sure to follow me there. The more you write, the more comfortable you'll get in your journal. It takes time, so don't worry if writing personal stuff onto paper feels strange at first. Putting the thoughts you think right away into words can be hard, but it takes practice. You have to keep trying, but if you're getting too overwhelmed, maybe journaling is not for you and that's okay. Don't forget to write about the small things. We tend to remember the big things, but writing down the small things mean they'll never be forgotten. Now, I don't mean the nitty gritty stuff like at 10 a.m. I went to the loo and then I had toast with egg and butter and salt, you know, not this kind of thing. More stuff like a compliment your friend gave you today or something a stranger did to you on the street that you thought was very kind or just a funny comment someone made in class that made you laugh. Little things are also important and journaling is also proven to improve your memory. Don't feel overwhelmed to write every single thing about yourself either. There's no need to write down your whole life story and all your secrets right away. You can just reveal more as you go along. Just take your time and don't feel pressure to write a certain amount every day. You can write whenever you feel like it or maybe just a line a day or have a goal set for yourself like a page or half a page a day. You decide. It's your journal. Another thing is you do not have to be overwhelmed by your handwriting. And although I definitely agree that it feels so nice to have a full journal of neatly written words, you won't always be in the mood for this. You just won't. Probably like 90% of you won't. There have been plenty of times where I have not been in the mood for writing neatly or writing much, or I just wanna get the entry done quickly because I'm busy or just wanna go to bed. But I do advise you to make your handwriting somewhat needable. Oh, needable, needable. <laughs> Although I do advise you to make your handwriting at least somewhat readable, even if it looks like chicken scratch. Funny thing that happened to me once was my friend, she once looked at my journal page and she thought I wrote in Polish because of how ugly my handwriting looked, even though I actually wrote in English, which is, yeah, it's very funny. If you're on the more artistic side, you don't necessarily have to write in your journal. You can color, draw, make comics, decorate the page with stickers or washi tape, you can do literally anything. <laughs> Mistakes are okay. Your sentences can be jumbled. When you reread them, they won't be perfect. They're raw thoughts that you're putting down anyway, so they don't have to make sense necessarily. Remember, this is not a school essay. Your journal is unique to you, and that includes mistakes as well. As for spelling mistakes, it can be annoying, but it's okay to just scribble or cross the word out. I am planning on making a video though on how you can correct your mistakes, so subscribe to not miss it. I know journaling can be stressful because you're doing it very often, or you're just trying to make it look so perfect, or you're going by someone else's rules instead of doing it the way you want to, or you're going by a format that doesn't fit you. It's okay if you feel like it's not for you and you want to quit. For those of you who really want to keep on going though, which I really encourage you to do, 
make sure to just adjust your journal to your wants and needs. Try different formats to see which one fits you. For example, maybe journaling digitally is better for you or recording audio entries is the best option. If you feel like you're forcing yourself, maybe you need a break or just need to take it easier. Make sure it's an enjoyable experience for you. Once you get the hang of journaling, it can be really fun to write in and looking back at old entries is the funnest thing ever. It's so rewarding, which is why I really advise you to give it a go. Please comment down below which journaling video you'd like me to make and thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please like and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video bye bye